so after that ray we have that is straight line or line we will call this one sometimes as a line line or straight line here why before going to that first you have to see the difference between line and straight line here there is no difference but here in lines we can say that curved lines and straight lines also no if i kept here two points then i will join these two like this also no that is a curved line okay if i join these two points or three points in a straight manner in a straight path okay if i join these three points in a straight manner or a straight path then i will get here a straight line that is the difference between those two lines so here line means we need to consider this one as a straight line okay so let us see that let us see that what about that straight line here again we need to consider that why always we are taking that line segment only why because first was we need to know about that line segment no line segment means the shortest distance between any two points if you extend any one of the point in any one of the direction then we will get that ray if you extend this line segment in both directions if you extend the line segment in both directions then we will get that one as a straight line okay so this straight line represented with the small letters small alphabets here i taken that one as l so i will call this straight line as l or we can take this one as ab also straight line ab also we can represent this one as straight line ab so here both sides you have to keep that arrow mark why because a straight line is extended endlessly in both directions endlessly in both directions okay extended in both directions so that's why we have to keep that two arrow marks and this is that representation or else we can take this one as i kept here l so we can write this one as a line l we can represent like that also okay now here what are the properties of a straight line first thing is that straight line is having that any end point no end points why because a straight line is extended endlessly in both directions also that's why the first point is no end points so a straight line is not having not having any end points that is the first property come to that second property is this having a finite length or infinite length already we know that it is extended endlessly in both directions so then how we can measure the length it is not possible to find that exact what is the distance between those two points why because this line is not having any fixed points here okay but what about ab just ab are any some points on the line but those two are not a fixed points on a line those two are those two points lies on the straight line here okay so why because at first all i am saying that a straight line means this is consisting of infinitely many points a straight line is having that infinitely many points okay that's why this is not having any end point clear so next thing is is this having a finite length or infinite length yes that is not having any finite length so that is obviously infinite length why because again same thing here bus is in moving this direction and i am moving in this direction two opposite directions okay so I, you can't measure that the what is the distance between me and the bus or something okay so why because both both objects also i am one of the object and the other one is some vehicle both objects also moving objects only those two objects also moving in opposite directions so you can't exactly you can't say that what is the distance between those two points somewhere those two will stop means then you can measure that what is the distance those two also continuously moving okay then is it possible to measure the distance not possible so that's why here this is not having that finite length so obviously we can say that this is having infinite length so we cannot measure the exact length of a straight line what is the next one is this having any length sorry is this having any breadth or thickness this is not having any breadth or thickness so no breadth as well as no thickness 
So these are the points related to, these are the properties related to that straight line. Okay. And on this straight line here, line segment is a part of your line or not? Yes, obviously. So here A, B. So I taken here A, B. A, B is a line segment. Why? Because A, A is one of the point, B is another point. This is consisting of so many points. Okay. But I am saying about only A and B. So I taken like this. A, B is a line segment or not? So line segment is a part of a line. If you extend that line segment in both directions, then only you will get that a straight line. Okay. That's why here line segment is a part of a line. Okay, clear? So, after that straight line, we have here coplanar points. So, again, we have to go for that points. Okay, coplanar. Coplanar points means, here, let us take that one of the plane, that is some E. Already we discussed, you know, here I taken this plane name as E. On this plane, I taken here some points. A, B, C, and here I taken D, E, Sorry, already E is there, no? so we can take this one as some F. Okay, here E is not a point that is related to name, related to that plane. Okay, so F and this is Z, H, I. Here I taken some Z. Okay, I taken some points like this. Some of the points I taken inside of the plane and some of the points I taken outside of the plane. So now which points we will call it as coplanar points. So here the points which lies on the same plane. Points which lies on same plane. Points should be lies on same plane. Then we will call those points are coplanar points. Okay. So here which points are coplanar points? Yes. Point A, B, C, Z are coplanar points are coplanar points why because a b c z those four points also lies on that same plane or inside of that plane only know here so this is another plane if you have that plane then only we can draw that already we discussed that so on this another plane i kept that the remaining points but a b c z related to that plane e so we will call that these all points lies on that same plane no. So we will call these points are coplanar points. Okay. So coplanar points means points should be have should be lies in that same plane. So we will call that points are coplanar points. Okay. Now coplanar lines. Now we know about that lines also no. So here coplanar lines means lines which should be lies in that same plane okay lines should be in that same plane related to that same plane then we will call that lines are coplanar lines so this is some l and this is some m and this is n so here line straight line l m n those three lines also not only three i am saying three or more lines or one line two lines also we can take here so those lines lies on that same plane then we will call that lines are coplanar lines okay all lines related to that same plane then we will call that lines are coplanar lines if that all points related to that same plane we will call that points are coplanar points okay so next thing is collinear points so here collinear points means three or more points lies on the same line already we discussed no on that is straight line we have that infinitely many points we can keep that so this is a straight line so this is a straight line l on this straight line if you join that more number of infinitely many points in your straight path then only we will get that a straight line so obviously we can say that a straight line is having that it has infinitely many points so if that three or more points a b c three or more than three points lies on the same straight line then we will call that points are collinear points so here which points are collinear points a b c point a point b point c are collinear points 
Why? Because those three points also lies on that same straight line. So we will call these points are collinear points. Okay. 